All right, timer. Uh, let's see. All right, we're we're good. No. Uh, oh! Fuck. Fuck. Okay, now it's a first blood and a one jungle camp, but it's Broxa. Okay, so I have I have faith. I have faith. Come on, G2. Come on, G2. We got this. Alright, Broxa just casually running through mid. He's trying to get to his red side, wants to make sure Nidalee didn't go for a cheese. They ping the uh the raptor. They ping the raptor camp, so they know exactly where he is. Broxo gonna do his uh, his red buff. He doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna kite the patience on the camp though. That would be a little that'd be a little bit too much. Wouldn't wanna speed up his clear. Yeah, wouldn't wouldn't wanna do that. That 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 would be a cardinal sin to speed up his clear. You wouldn't wanna you wouldn't definitely not wanna do that. Alright. So now he goes over to the right hand side. Perks doesn't get a clean crash, and so he's not able to like cheat or anything here. Mickey gets intel on Graves. He did the Scuttle Crab first. I mean, this isn't as losing as the line. They see Graves, they see 20 CS, they know that his golems are up. So it's not like... This isn't as far ahead as Broxa could be. He's gonna be um, he's gonna be at 32 CS at the end of this, and Italy will be at 20, so he, he is still plus 3. Alrighty. Um, Alright, so right now, uh, Nidalee... Is still pretty low on the CS department. Broxa does not have a uh, flash anymore. And Yanko is going to go back to farming. Broxa is very far ahead, but Impact, uh, Impact is clearly not very good at the Volibear uh, Renekton matchup. It's clearly not very good. Yeah, he, I, I mean, Jesus. He's getting dominated by Wonder. This should never be happening in this matchup. Every time, every time I see Volibear Renekton, I just really wonder like how practiced the Volibear players are. He's just getting smacked, man. It doesn't mean it doesn't even make any fucking sense. What is happening? He just burned through. Uh, he just burned through his his. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, this is really brutal. Wonder's gonna get such a ooh, really close by Mickey. Really close. That would have been disastrous. But yeah, I mean G two. They they've almost recovered. Um, solely because of top lane, and now because of that little pull, the minion wave is coming back into Wonder. Um, because the minion proximity to the reinforcing red side minions will mean that it pushes back into Wonder naturally. Although both, uh, both years are going to teleport onto the wave. I love how Wonder's building. Uh, Impact just rushed straight for Kindle Gem, but Wonder with, uh, the double longsword and the ruby. So I think that's very good. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. A little bit of an unfortunate situation here, and it does not look like Anko is going to be able to uh, steal anything away. This is probably one of the biggest early game advantages Broxy's ever going to get. Um, so Core JJ here, trying to get one of the uh, turret plates. He might actually do it. Yeah, he's going to manage to get it. Sets uh, sets passive pretty good. Brox are very far ahead of Yankos. Very, very, very far ahead. Holy shit. Cordage no flash. Wait, what? What what wait what? What are they doing? Dude. <sighs> I'm tilted. I'm tilted. Actually, I'm just I'm tilting. I'm tilting really hard. Nidalee went for the scuttle flip instead of just continuing to like farm up. Um that's obviously weird. Jace now really, really, really far behind Oriana. The scary, the scary thing is, is that um, Oriana is very scary for this G two team composition. Now, no one's gotten Dragon yet. Broxa immediately goes back to Wolves, and it looks like he's pathing towards the left. So I don't know why he didn't just. Uh, I don't know why he didn't just go to Gromp. Oh, he did. He did. Uh, he did Patience Kite that that Wolf Camp. So that was good. I don't know why he didn't just go to a Gromp, though. Like, there's no hot date for him to get to on the top side. And you you know where Nidalee is, so there's no sense of urgency. He's just giving up a camp for no reason. Doesn't make any sense. All of his lanes are very stable. Uh, impacts reset. 
Uh, you can see Caps is, uh, I mean, Caps is playing very safe. He's playing in the correct pocket on the left-hand side of the lane. Graves now is going to get the red buff before doing anything. He's going to come over now, and I guess he's going to, don't, don't start the Herald, dude. Don't, don't start the Herald. Okay, he's coming over. He wants to get the Scootle Crab. Um, and so some people could say, like, this is, uh, this is one of the reasons that he takes this route is so that he can arrive at the Scuttle Crab as soon as it spawns, um, and that's why he circumvents getting, uh, the Gromp, um, you know, that, that, that would be one of the things that I, I guess could be said. Um, Cap's gonna clear that whole minion wave out, uh, I think he's gonna stop Jensen, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, oh, he's trying to dance to stop Jensen, Jensen doesn't buy it. He knows that Caps is on cooldown with his EQ, and so he doesn't actually have an ability, so Caps would have to walk up to auto-attack, and that would actually be pretty dangerous, because he probably knows that Caps has no vision uh, surrounding anything. And you can see, uh, Brox, Brox is pathing. This is the 7-10 split again. Gromp and Golem's both up. Really bad pathing. Really, 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 really bad pathing. After um, after the scuttle crab, I thought he would just go to uh, he would go to the go golems, do the golems, and then path down to bottom, get the gromp, hand the blue off to Oriana. Oriana reestablishes mid control. Uh, bottom comes off of the reset, and then you get dragon. Uh, you you shouldn't never prioritize the herald. You should never delay the capture of any of your camps. Brox is just stunting his own pathing because can't spell jungle. Um, so that's really bad. Now G2 are going to be the ones that get the Rift Herald. Like, this is this is really bad uh, for TL. Uh, Broxa might... Oh, jeez. All right. Manages to not get caught. So that's pretty good. Now, on the flip side, though, Tactical and Core JJ are getting a lot of value down in bottom lane. So many free waves and so many free turret plates as well. So lots of good stuff going for them. Um, G2 are in a really, really, really bad position right now. Um, they're gonna use the Rift Herald to get top lane. Now, getting top lane would actually be really bad if Impact knew what freezing was, um, because then he would just be able to permafreeze the the top turret. They're actually not gonna elect to use the Rift Herald yet, so that's that's honestly very surprising. Uh, first blood turret going the way of G two. Almost three thousand gold advantage, and uh, Graves with the grit there, a little bit tanky, definitely a tanky boy. They're now going to summon the Rift Herald up in top lane. They're going to use that to raise the top tier 1 turret. They're going to capture that. Uh, Mutant Dragon is now going to be captured by Graves. Perks is... Uh, yeah, Perks is, Perks is down a lot. I mean, he rotated for hell. I, I mean, I think the game's over. I think I think Tail wins. A lot of uh, a lot of the XP has been funneled into t uh, Tactical. Like, when Impact had the freeze up in top lane, but he reset, and then uh, he recalled, you know? G2 is not bad. They have a very stupid fucking draft that they never should have picked. Um, and then they fell behind early with it. They got invaded on early. Nidalee, it was hard for her to play the game. Wonder was winning a matchup he shouldn't have won. And then Caps got Leroy Jenkins happy. And uh, made a really stupid trade early. And then uh, Perks and Mickey weren't able to... Ooh. Okay. That was a really good arrow. Oh! 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 <laughs> really big hits. Really big hits. TL having that mountain dragon is very... Oh my fucking god, dude. Dude, it's literally Black Cleaver Andy, dude. D does Broxon know what other items are? Like, actually... Fucking Volibear's Bear's going Black Cleaver, dude. I I I I I wish I could I I wish I could get paid as much as him to fucking fail itemization this much. Holy shit. I I fucking wish, dude. I fucking wish. So insane. Actually, so insane. Fucking Broxa is Club Thirty Three with Boris, man. Oh my god. Oh, nice flash out. Alright, Rift Herald picked up by G2. They're fighting back. They're clawing their way back into the game. Ocean Dragoon picked up by Team Liquid. I don't even think... No, it's still not even Black Cleaver value. Because you just go two Lethality items and then you go Lord Dominic's Regard, man! You go Edge of Night, uh... 
ed- 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 edge of night umbral or edge of night uh well it depends i think with as it I think as this game was being played, Edge of Night into Yumu is probably as good. Um, but there's definitely situations where Edge of Night Umbral is fine. Um, ooh, perks! Ugh! Oh! 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 Ah! Cucked. I thought he was going to be able to live. That was really close. Really, really, really close. That was very, that was very close. Cap's now up in top lane, though. Teleport coming in from Jensen. Oh, does he say Jensen or Jensen? It's Jensen, right? Does he say Jensen? I like the Banshee's Veil. I like the Ban. I, I I don't I don't mind the Banshee's Veil here. I guess by uh, by Oriana. There is actually pretty key abilities to block from the opponents. Team Liquid are ahead 3,000 gold. It's 20 minutes. Infernal Dragoon is very important. Ooh, Wonder got tagged by the by the, the lightning. Ooh, big shot onto tactical. Corey AA. Mickey fucking smurfing again, dude! Caps no flash. Yeah. Dude, Mickey is fucking insane. Now, a lot of the, the a lot of the gold advantage is actually still inside of the standing turrets. You know what I mean? Because TL's up three turrets. Aside from that, like, the shutdowns and, like, other stuff that's been uh, achieved, and the fact that, like, Renekton is 50 CS up over uh, Roly Poly Bear, that's really big. The the, the very sad thing, for sure, is uh, the Mountain Dragon on TL. This is a very big item spike timing for Team Liquid, by the way. How fortunate for them. Um, Vola Bear, even though he's been so stunted, picks up his item. It looks like Oriana's waiting on Fountain for Banshees. It looks like she's very close to having it. Wow, what an impressive item timing. Major completions coming in. Major fucking complete. Oh, 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 impact, impact. They got him, they got him, they got him because he had a hot date. He had to push, he had to push the wave. Hot, hot date. Corey AA. Perks doesn't have flash. I think Perks might be dead. Oh, oh, shockwave. Really good. Really good. Okay. Okay. Mickey, trying to block. Wonder. Oh, the QSS! Dude, Mickey. Like, like, honestly, dude. Okay, alright. Jensen's gonna just carry the fight, though. Holy shit. The QSS value, yeah. TL's gonna get the Infernal. TL's gonna get the Infernal. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, they're bringing the game to soul point. That was a very big fight. Perks went, uh, per yeah, per Perks, unfortunately, not able to, not able to get a better position. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll probably see in the replay what, uh, what was going to happen there. So, take a look at Perks. Um, he just got, he got separated. Um, and then he got pulled in by Oriana. Jensen able to, to get the kill onto him. And then, yeah, the QSS value was actually pretty good. Wonder, maybe could have kept running down to the south before re uh, attempting to go for the re-engage. Um, I mean, Spear missed on Jensen, but even if it hits, he's not gonna, he's, he's not gonna die to Nidalee there, so. And so, yeah. Now, in terms of levels, G2 actually aren't in a bad spot, which is very good. Wonder's actually ahead. What does the uh what does the bot say? Does anyone know what the bot says right now? <clears throat> mm, Mickey's dead. Oh, wait, no he's not. Is Caps alive? Caps didn't have flush. Double kill and eight magi stacks. And can't go in there. Yeah, G2 or uh This this is sad. This is sad. TL are in a very good position right now. Very, very, very good position. Which is very big. Now they are starting Baron. Wonder does have TP, so does Caps. This is a very bad decision. Very, very bad decision. Yankos. Gonna run away. This is a horrible decision. Holy fuck oh wait. Oh,
Oh my god. That was a horrible decision. Horrible decision by TL. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Actually, Terabad. Legit Terabad decision. Yeah, I don't know why Perks has QSS. Uh, I guess for a Volibear Q. Oh my god! If that would have hit, dude. Oh my god, Caps might die. Caps is dead? Caps is dead. Nope, Caps is not dead. Oh, oh, oh. Mickey, 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 Mickey. No, 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 Trying too hard. Dude, trying too hard. Oh, God, they're inting. They're inting, they're inting. They're inting, they're inting. They're inting. G2's inting. G2's inting. G2's inting. G2's inting. Tactical SR. Tactical SR. Tactical SR. It's over. That's Baron. That's Baron. That's Baron. G2 just can't help it in. So I like I like how like thirty minutes before this game happened, right? We we basically said that the way that G two would lose is they pick a an NT draft and they would like make NT trolley choices that would just like run into their opponents. This is like G two is G 2s worst enemy in so many of these games. I I think that there's no way really back uh, into this one for them. Um, Baron's gonna give uh, such an XP swing over. Like I would be surprised if Impact doesn't ding fifteen. Wow, he doesn't actually. Jensen's 16, though. Brox is 14. Tactical's 15 now. Take a look at this. There's there's never a kill on Orianna. I don't know what they're thinking. There's never a kill on Ori there on that replay. Yankos has no flash. They're just getting collapsed on. I mean, this is terrible. I think they got really tilted. Uh, maybe. Well, I mean, we don't, we don't know. It's conjecture. But uh, the enchanted uh, crystal arrow missing was definitely really bad for sure. G2 are going to try to do one last special uh, do -si do but... Ah, uh, I mean the Drake's already gone. Yeah. Ah, uh, fucking donk draft. Ah, uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, okay. All right, that's it. Yeah, they win. They win. Game's over, right? The game's still going? Come on, dude. If Wonder played Camille... Yeah, I think... Well, I mean, if they had any scaling champion, yeah. This game definitely would have been winnable, I think. For sure. Ooh, Baroon Nasher. Oh, Mickey got knocked out of the way by Baroon. <sighs> Champ is so fucking bad, by the way. I'm gonna him. It's so fucking bad. Oh, Mickey tried, dude. Mickey tried, man.